Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hmm. Morning, Choi. Mm. I don't know about y'all, but I cannot take my eyes off this royal wedding. I suddenly I'm British. I don't know. I need to watch. First of all, Harry, I honor you with my body? What? Yum. I'm so here for it. That rendition of Stand By Me, if you weren't crying from that, I don't know. You Check your pulse. You might be dead. I'm not going to lie. I love the royals. I don't know what titles they have or what the Duchess, Duke and Duchess of Yorkshire pudding. I don't know, but I love it. I am here for it. I watch all of them. I, I'm just, and I think I think Harry was always like, he was a little, he was a little bit of a, a sex pot. You know, he was a little rebel. I liked him. He was a lot like Diana. Um, William was always more like his father, you know, sort of straight laced and like do it by the book. And Harry was like, nah, I'm going to go my own way. Thanks. I always liked that. Anyway, I'm waiting for the kiss. That's all I'm waiting for is the kiss. So lots of music in this wedding. I did see the Clooney's. I did see Oprah. I did see the Beckhams. I saw Serena Williams, uh, Elton John. She's got some good people there. I love that they made David Beckham show his invitation as if David Beckham was just going to roll into Windsor Castle like, hey, and try to sneak in. Anyway, um, okay, well, they're just playing another song on the orchestra, so I'm good right now. But by the way, Um, Prince Charles has now burped on camera at least seven times. You gotta love an old man that has indigestion or like acid reflux. Can somebody get that man a pill? Every time they cut to him, he's like, I'm like, Camilla must be like, bro, take a pill. Um, Megan's mother is beautiful. It's all just so amazing. The whole thing, the glow up of Meghan Markle, come on. Really? There's a picture of her from when she was like 12 or 13, sitting in front of Windsor, in front of, uh, I don't know, whatever they call it, in London, the castle. And now she's getting married to the Duke of Earl. Okay? It's amazing. Um, Amal Clooney is so beautiful. George Clooney is lucky she even lets him sit next to her. Jesus, this woman is like looking into the sun. Okay, so you don't really need my commentary. Um, oh, I think I hear Ave Maria. That's a good one. Kate Middleton is gorgeous. She just had a baby, and she already looks amazing. I'm annoyed. First of all, there's so many hats, and that it's like a sea of hats. And I kind of love that they are a people of tradition. I love that. America as a whole has no tradition. Italians have tradition. Irish have tradition. You know, Asians, well, like everybody has their own. Each individual group of immigrants that came here have their own tradition. Could you imagine marrying Prince Harry in nothing but concealer and mascara? The nerve. She's so attractive. She's not even wearing makeup. Because Harry doesn't like her in makeup. By the way, I wish her dress was a little more fitted. It does not fit her right at the top. It's gorgeous, but it's, where's the kiss? I, okay, I've been watching this whole mother effing morning for the kiss. Okay, her mom crying is like amazing. Okay. Oh, this must be the British national anthem. Are they going to kiss or not? Do they not kiss in England? Because I know from here they're going to go to that balcony and they'll kiss on the balcony. But don't they...
Oh, Megan's singing it. Y'all, they were probably like, you're an actress. Learn the lines. She's, listen, it kind of sounds like our national anthem. No, no, it sounds like land where my father died. Right? Da, 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 of every mound. They said no kiss. What the F? Let freedom ring. What is that song we have? Oh, I'm a really good American, folks. Okay, well, it's over. They are going to now walk out, and I'm waiting. I got to go do my radio show, and if I miss the damn kiss, they aren't going to the balcony. Okay, I'm just telling you now. If they don't kiss in the church and they don't go to the balcony, I hate everyone. Okay. Well, anyway, I just want to tell you guys something really quick. The dress is gorgeous. It just doesn't fit right on the top. The little girl. Okay, first of all, the little kids are so cute. First of all, look at the queen. She wears yellow to every wedding. I love her. Harry told Meghan he doesn't like her in makeup. And Meghan married him in concealer and mascara. If that's not love, I don't know what is. How you get married in concealer and... Um... Okay, so now everyone's saying they're not going to the balcony. Which... I mean, why wouldn't you want to kiss Prince Harry in front of the world? I'd be like, come here, baby. Let me whisper in your ear. I saw Prince Harry in gay. In gay. I saw Prince Harry in gray sweatpants one time. I'm just telling you. I saw it and I liked it. Here they come. Oh my gosh. It's so exciting for all the fans. Everybody's freaking out. Who do we have in America like this? I guess it would be like if Oprah got married. I don't even know. If Oprah married someone amazing, like, um, I don't even know. Who's on Oprah level? Nobody. Ryan, Ry what's that guy's name that everybody loves? Ryan. <gasps> they kissed. I am shooketh. One, that's all I get. One kiss. I've been watching for a fucking hour. They kissed. They kissed. My heart sped up a little bit. Holy shit. Okay, Harry. First of all, you know they have good sex. I don't care what anybody says. Harry's a freak. Kiss again. Kiss again. One more time. One more time. Oh, my God. Yeah, her dress, no, it just does not fit right. I'm looking at it. She needs better undergarments, something. Oh, who's coming out? Everybody's screaming. Her train is stuck. Oh, it's uh, Kate. Yeah. Okay, I just have to tell you. People love them. They love them. Kiss again, damn it. What are they singing? Oh my God, how cute is uh, Charlotte or whatever her name is? Kate, uh, William's daughter. Good Lord, she's a nugget. A little British nugget who probably th says things like, hello, mom. Oh my God, I love her. Oh my God, let it shine, let it shine. This is the blackest wedding I've ever been invited to and I'm from New Jersey. This is a damn good wedding. Girl, you better get in that carriage. There's some Harry loving waiting for you in that carriage. Get in the carriage. Let it shine. Let it shine. Yes. Okay. First of all, 
Okay, they're getting in the carriage, y'all. This was amazing. I I think it's amazing. They're in the carriage. Her train is about 47,000 feet long. This little light of mine, yes. Girl, I'm not that good at all of this. Okay, I just want to tell you something really quick. So, last night, Max... Oh, I got to go do my radio show. Shit. Last night... Um, Yes, it was sublime. Thank you for your commentary. I'm telling you what, these people who have to do this commentary is brutal. This was, um, oh, George Bush. Oh no, that one, false alarm, false alarm. It was just a, it was just a soldier. What is Harry chewing? I bet they gave him a Tic Tac. His breath price stinks. Charlotte's waving. Oh my God, you little nugget. I would have flown all the way to London to wave at Charlotte. Okay, really quick. Um, okay, so yesterday Max got her, Max and Olivia got in a fight and Olivia pushed him or something, I don't know. And, and um, my back hurts so bad I can't find a good seating position. Um, and he started crying and I heard Michael go, Stop crying like a little girl. Now, first of all, we don't say stuff like that in my house because I'll punch you in the throat and see how you cry. But Olivia, her response was everything. She goes, what's, what's that supposed to mean? And Michael goes, what? Because he wasn't expecting her to respond. And he said, um... Oh, wait, they're going to show the kiss. Are they going to show the kiss? They are. Oh, my God. Get it. Okay. So, um, Olivia said, what is that supposed to mean? He said, well, what do you mean? She goes, well, you said Max is crying like a girl. What is that supposed to mean? And he goes, it's just a figure of speech. You know what my daughter said to her father? Are you ready? Find better speech. Find better speech. Now listen, I love, I love uh, my husband, but my daughter checked his ass. That's right. Oh, that's your figure of speech? Find better speech. And I didn't teach her that. I mean, she must hear it from me, but I didn't like specifically teach her that. That was all Olivia. That was all Olivia. And I was like, girl, you get a treat. You get a treat and you get a treat and you get a treat and you get a treat. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I was so proud of her. So unbelievably proud of her. And I didn't want to make too much of a big deal about it because she was still being sassy to her father and I don't want to reward that behavior. But her response was everything. Um, and yes, so when Michael got in bed last night, I said, did you hear your daughter? He said, yes, I heard my daughter. I said, let me tell you something. I get what you were saying, but you have two girls in this house and you cannot diminish their role here. You don't manly up your son by diminishing your daughters. That's not how it works. Max won't become more manly if you diminish the role his, his, his sisters play in this house. Everybody's tears are worth the same attention in this house. Oh, Michael's response, he was shocked. He was shocked. He was... He didn't know what to say. He, he was not expecting that. Neither was I, to be honest. Find better speech. He said, you're right. I'm sorry. I mean, he did apologize. But um, anyway, I just had to share that with you guys. I think the truth is we're all distracted um, by the royal wedding. I don't blame you. I have to go do my radio show this morning. If you want to, um, if you want to watch this morning, um, you can follow me on Instagram, Jamie P. Sullivan, J-A-I-M-E-P. Sullivan on Instagram. You can come over there and watch it live. Uh, my guest this morning is Agiona Alexis, who plays Gabrielle Union's daughter in Breaking In. Guys, this is the second weekend of our movie. It means everything if you can go. We know the numbers are going to drop. Deadpool's going to kill us. But if you could go see Breaking In, I would greatly appreciate it. I love you guys so, so much. Um, have a great great day.